After speaking out on social media over how she was mistreated during the three months she spent working as an adult actress, Mia Khalifa is back in the spotlight showing off a brand new addition to her already pitch perfect features, a batie and well proportioned nose. While this isn't the first work that Mia has ever had done, taking into consideration the notoriety she's gained for having such an unbelievable body, it's far more natural than you might think. In fact, besides a nose job, Mia has only ever had work done on her breasts and she likes to champion the natural female form as often as she possibly can. Today we're going to tell you all about that while breaking down the work she has had done. Mia Khalifa is a former adult film star who immediately became one of the most popular performers at the age of 21 after filming only 11 films in 2014. All in all, she was only active in the industry for 3 months and while you might think she might have earned a whole lot for something that made her world famous, in point of fact she has only made about $12,000 total for her work. Since then, she's transformed herself into a social media influencer where she can often be seen endorsing products and she's also absolutely blowing up over on TikTok where she has over 8.5 4 million fans. Over the past few months, Mia has petitioned to have her old images and videos removed from the adult film platform and has found support from people all over the world. She's also worked extremely hard to champion women's bodies on her social media page, letting the world know that she likes to keep things as natural as possible. While Mia has had some pretty noticeable implant work done in the past, one of which was the result of a medical emergency, the only other work she's had done under the knife is a recent $15,000 rhinoplasty surgery. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do it. I did it. She revealed her brand new schnauz on Instagram having it had done to get ready for her wedding day. Mia's engaged to chef Robert Sandberg, a guy who not only cooks her meals like this, but is also willing to help out Mia with her new career on TikTok taking part in whatever the hell this is supposed to be. With her recent reveal, Mia is trying to break down the stigma associated with plastic surgery and bring all of us along on her journey. I don't like the fact that when I'm scrolling through my discovery on Instagram, I feel like every girl looks the same. It's just control C, control V. And it's because they're, I feel like a lot of them are going in and saying, give me this, I want this nose, I want to look like this. And what should be done instead is just celebrating your features, your organic genetic features. And if there's something that makes you self-conscious about that, find a way to enhance it without completely changing it. Like, stay true to yourself. What's going on, guys and girls? It's Kara back with a new episode in the series we've called Before and After, where we take a look at shocking physical transformations that celebrities undergo. Today, we're looking at Mia Khalifa and her recent transformation over the past couple years. Mia made a splash with her body from the day she first turned up on her screens back in 2014, and she's undergone a couple transformations since then, so I thought we could put them all together in one video. I've done other celebrity transformation videos on this channel before for the likes of Summer Walker and Adele, so be sure to check those out if you like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss out. And as always, follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Mia was born in Beirut, Lebanon and actually comes from a Catholic family which might surprise a lot of people considering she first entered the public spotlight for the adult video she made while wearing a hijab. Those scenes were supposed to be satirical in nature but would wind up earning her thousands of death threats from all around the globe. You might not know this but Mia only found herself in the adult industry because she was looking to boost her self esteem. As a college student at the University of Texas, she was a meticulous student and focused on graduating early while losing 50 pounds through exercise. Then and at 21, she got her first boob job done, but her self-esteem was still extremely low. That same year, Mia was approached to do adult films, and after thinking about it for a couple weeks, she finally agreed. Within three months, she was one of the biggest adult film stars in the world. Her popularity spiraled out of control, and she found herself in the middle of a career that she despised. She said, It didn't validate me, nothing like that ever does. That's not what you should be doing to try and build your self-esteem. From there, she tried to work as a bookkeeper for a construction firm, but her notoriety followed her everywhere. 
After six months of trying to be a normal person again, she returned to social media and has made a career for herself as an influencer thanks to her infectious personality and of course, a drop dead gorgeous body. It probably won't come as much of a surprise to you considering her admitted lack of self esteem, but Mia's continued to work on her body throughout the years, trying to get it exactly where she wants it. First, let's talk about her breast implants. After getting them for the first time at 21, she went from this to this. So some pretty evident work's been done there. I'm not gonna guess the actual size, but they are undeniably much larger and rounder. Then after a freak accident back in 2018 at a Washington Capitals playoff game, Mia had to have some emergency work done after taking a slap shot chest first. That's right, the left part of her chest deflated after a puck clipped her at 80 miles per hour. I can't even imagine how painful that must have been. She told the Daily Star, I was sitting behind the glass during a game and it came shooting over the glass and it caught me so off guard I had no idea it was coming. I grabbed my chest and I didn't want to let go because I felt like if I did let go, blood was going to be everywhere. Mia had to have a 4 hour long fat grafting operation in LA to fix her damage implant. According to her doctor, Jay Calvert, breast implants that explode can leak saline and silicone into the body, which can cause serious infection. While working on Mia, he discovered that her implant was already partially deflated due to being 7 or 8 years old. So as it turns out, getting hit with a puck may have even saved Mia's life. Mia even posted a video with as much footage of the surgery as YouTube would let her get away with. I'm not going to include any here because it's really not for the weak of stomach, but if you're interested, go and check it out. Hey, movie. <laughs> <laughs> You're so tired. Mine! Pretty good? But hey, at least they let her keep the puck, so that's a bonus, right? Breast surgery isn't the only transformation that Mia has undergone. She's also worked extremely hard over the past couple years to transform her body through exercise. She's tracked her weight loss through her Instagram account and shares updates with her fans regularly. In the before clip, Mia is dressed in a pair of denim and a yellow top that shows off her midriff with only the slightest hint of belly. Then, in the after video, she flaunts her well-toned abs and sexy new physique. The results are jaw-dropping and must feel like their own reward, but what Mia really feels blessed by is the fact that her husband Robert proposed to her while she was still in her before phase, which helps her know that he really does love her for who she is. Finally, we've come to Mia's newest addition, her recent nose job. Mia's intention was to make her nose look a little more feminine and to soften it up a bit. She went from this to this. Despite being entirely pleased with how it turned out, Mia is quick to point out that plastic surgery isn't for everyone and that no woman should follow another woman's footsteps or idolize what they see on social media blindly. What's important is to get educated and decide for yourself. You really need to like just accept who yes. you are and be beautiful. Like, right. Okay, then don't go to the gym. Like, the, What is the difference between that? As long as I'm in the right mindset and I'm doing it for the right reasons and I'm being conservative in what I do and not like completely changing myself, what is the difference between getting a nose enhancement and going to the gym every day? Post-surgery, Mia's also been offering her fans a sneak peek into her skincare routine, which she has to be delicate with, to say the least. Hello. How are you? It's me and my new nose. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how I do my uh, nose job safe skincare routine, because that is still the most important thing to me, my skin. Even though I'm puffy and bruised because I ate a lot more sodium than I should and I've also been in taking nicotine. Fan reaction to the work has been extremely positive and supportive with Mia's fans letting her know just how much they love her new look, saying things like, We love a transparent queen, you're so precious, I need people like you in my life. I admire you so much. By being as transparent as possible with the process and letting her fans join her in her journey every step of the way, Mia is doing us all a great service by letting us know what kind of options are out there, while at the same time encouraging us to only change what we're comfortable with. Alright guys, I think we're gonna end this video here on Mia Khalifa before and after. Mia's come a really long way from shy Catholic girl social media influencer. Throughout it all, she's maintained her phenomenal natural body as much as possible and only accentuated parts of herself here and there for added effect. 
What do you guys think about Mia's recent transformation? Do you think her new nose makes her more beautiful or was she already that gorgeous to begin with? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to drop some ideas on who you'd like to see next in this series. Hit me up on Instagram and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!